and welcome to DMC's brief introduction and demonstration of our battery management system test stand. Today we're going to take an off-the-shelf BMS board from Texas Instruments and we're going to demonstrate how you would test it with DMC's BMS test stand. What you'll see here is a demonstration board from Texas Instruments that you can buy readily from any online vendor. In this case, it is the BQ20Z90 evaluation module from Texas Instruments. You'll see it in the picture right here. Uh, this board demonstrates a BMS system that primarily consists of a single chip, the Texas Instruments BQ20Z90, and supporting electronics on a single PCB. This BMS is primarily used in laptop battery supplies and it is designed to monitor four cells of different chemistries. Uh, the standard BMS that is used in automotive is of course much larger and meant to handle closer to a hundred cells but for the purposes of this demonstration, a four-cell BMS from Texas Instruments will do nicely. Here you can see a closer view of the Texas Instruments uh, BMS evaluation module for the BQ20Z90. Over on this portion of the board here, we have connections for the four cells. One end, this lowest connection, is the lowest potential of the lowest side cell. And then we have connection 1P, 2P, 3P, and 4P, which would be increasing potential of the four cell stack. So there are actually four wires coming in, and we have those wired to our battery cell simulator connection on the test stand, which we'll show you in just a minute. These connections up here are where the uh, off-the-shelf BMS evaluation board would have two 10K thermistors. We've actually removed those thermistors and added leads that go to our test stand uh, to the temperature sensor connector uh, for the temperature sensor simulator. On this side of the board we have a communications port. Of course this Texas Instruments BMS evaluation board uh, does not have CAN. It is actually uh, runs on SM bus which you would find inside your laptop and it's similar to I squared C. Uh, these wires right here make a connection uh, to the back side of the board where the sense resistor is located and we've actually removed that sense resistor and we've uh, placed two leads on there which go to our current sensor simulator which is just an analog uh, voltage output which would be proportional to current. This connector at the top is actually a connection which would run outside the battery pack and loop back to tell the BMS system that is actually connected inside, uh, inside the battery pack to an external system like a laptop or portable electronic device. Uh, this switch right here is actually an indicator which will illuminate the series of LEDs to flash the status of the pack, in particular the fuel status or uh, air condition. Typically you'll see that on your laptop batteries um, as sticking out to give you some kind of external indication of the charge status of the battery pack. So if we take a closer view at the Texas Instruments Evaluation uh, software, it's actually pulling the memory registers of the BMS system at this time it's giving you the alarm status flags you can see some of them are passing green and some of them are red failure you can see uh, all of the SM bus data reported here including the temperature the full voltage of the battery pack the current that it's running by measuring the sense resistor and if we pan over here a little bit you'll see actually it reports the voltage of each individual cell along with the uh, state of charge of the battery pack so what we've described here is actually a simulated device under test. So we have a variety of inputs including the battery cell simulator inputs, the temperature sensor simulated inputs, the current sensor simulated inputs, and communication back and forth from the battery pack to the standard uh, evaluation mode software running on this PC here. Now this is not part of the DMC BMS test system, but this system here will act as the BMS under test and we will be using this laptop to measure and monitor the outputs from the BMS system. So now we're going to show you how we actually simulate these inputs into the BMS system. So from our device under test we have a three different sets of leads which go to our BMS test stand. As you can see here, 
We have the cell voltage simulator lines. We have five of them connected here. We're simulating four cells. So if we're going to tap into the high and low uh, end of that stack of cell, we actually need five different wires, one at the lowest potential, moving on up to the highest potential uh, side of the four cell stack. You can see we're not using the sense connector here. Uh, we have four cells, and since this is just a demonstration, we're not too concerned about accuracy. But the system does has, have the capability to run a parallel set of lines to actually measure the voltage at the device under test. Down here you'll see the four sets of leads that are simulating the two thermistors. The 10K thermistors we've removed from the board are now simulated inside of this box, inside the test stand, in which case we can pick uh, for these four sensors, uh, for these two sensors, four sets of individual resistors to simulate open circuit, nominal, high, and low resistance temperature uh, sensor readings. On this connector here, we've plugged in the uh, ground to the CES system and the simulated current sensor connection, which we can use to uh, tell the BMS what current it's running Now we're going to show you the uh, computer associated with the BMS test stand. We pull out the sliding monitor and keyboard tray here, flip it open, and you can see the uh, simulated system state of the BMS tester 